Coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between Jan Kwahovic and Israel Adesanya. So here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out in round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Israel, the lifestyle bender, Adesanya. And now we can see his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 27 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, John Blakowicz. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? So here we are in Madison Square Garden, this arena not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few years. No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Slips. Leg kick. Just misses there with the left. Big off the punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all those. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Oh, big left. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Adesanya. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He got the turtle in that kick. You can 
really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice punch landing. Just misses with the right. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to hurt very bad. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to... Right now, it looks like he may. He's trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, what a round it was. And as far as flying knees go, they don't get much cleaner than the one he landed in that round. Yeah, he landed it cleanly. And he did a lot of good work. But this is the thing. That flying knee is going to be what we remember when we talk about this fight. I think you got to throw one in your next fight. I'd never. <laughs> All right, here we go with round two. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Wahovic gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Went inside on that leg kick through the jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Wahovich gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh! Knocked down by the spinning back fist! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! And just misses with that big right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Dig and kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. It looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, the numbers continue to pile up. 54 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And a pretty good clip tonight, DC, landing with 64% accuracy. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic... Oh! Back to the feet! So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve and start to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Take many of those, you better check. Oh! 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 All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. 
So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Third round underway. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Ooh, big shot lands. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. Oh! Position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Both fighters back to their feet now. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't... Whoa! Oh, it's over. Unbelievable. What a performance. Yeah, no doubt an absolutely brutal elbow to stop his opponent here tonight. And this has clearly been a weapon that has been a part of his arsenal in his UFC career. But it takes a lot of repetitions in the gym and a lot of confidence to willingly throw elbows the way he did there. So a lot of force in a short distance, and when you execute it like that, it is absolutely devastating. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 35 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last title bender, Alessandra. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.